Many of you will remember that in early 2004, a tsunami devastated Southeast Asia. Shortly after that tsunami hit, I found myself in a small fishing village in India that had been completely destroyed by the tsunami. A team of volunteers and I were helping to distribute aid in that village. As we were sharing this aid with the people who were there, they kept asking us, why are you here? Why are you here? And we would tell them, we're here because we love you, because God loves you. But they weren't satisfied. No, they said, no one cares about us. No one ever comes here. Why are you here? Finally, we said to them, it's because of Jesus. And I will never forget the response we got from an elder in the village who said, Jesus who? In 2004, we learned that the name of Jesus had never been uttered in that village. No one knew who he was. Sometime later, we were able to share the gospel with the people in that village, and they were very receptive, so much so that at the end of our presentation, one of the elders in the village said to me with tears in his eyes, we're so grateful that you have brought us this good news. We believe this good news is for us. But I have to ask you, he said, if this news is really for us, and if this news is really true, and if, as you say, Jesus lived 2,000 years ago, why has it taken 2,000 years for someone to care enough about us to share this good news with us? You know, I didn't have an answer for that man that day. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure I have an answer for him even now. I've always been intrigued by the fact that there are three words that are the same in every language on earth. Amen. Hallelujah, which really makes me happy because Hallel means praise and Yah is short for Yahweh, the God of eternity, and in every language they're praising our God. Hallel and Amen don't surprise me, but the third one does. It's Coca-Cola. It's surprising to me that Coca-Cola is the same in every language on earth, but there's a reason for that. It was several decades ago that the executives of Coca-Cola sat down and came up with a vision. Their vision was a Coca-Cola within arm's reach of every person on the planet. They developed a strategy and over the next 50 or so years they have been able to accomplish that vision such that there's no place on earth you can go and not find a Coca-Cola. Whether you're at the top of the mountains or at the bottom of the world, you can find a Coke. Isn't it interesting that the purveyors of sugar water have been able to accomplish in 50 years what the Church of Jesus Christ, armed with the gospel of life and empowered by the Holy Spirit, has not been able to accomplish in 2000? It breaks my heart that there are still people on this planet that have never heard the name of Jesus that one-third of the people in the world have not had a chance to receive the life that can only come from our Lord. But I'm so grateful to be a part of the Mission Society who are seeking to mobilize and deploy the body of Christ globally to join Jesus in His mission, especially amongst the least reached peoples. I've just returned from India where our Macklin Training Institute not only was training some of our own cross-cultural witnesses, but where we had the joy to be a part of training over 70 Indian nationals who are leaving their own Indian cultural spots and going to parts of India amongst the tribes who have never heard of Jesus. Jesus himself said the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. I hope you'll join me in three things. Number one, doing what Jesus said, which is to pray that the Lord would send workers into the harvest. I hope you'll pray for us as we try to mobilize and deploy the body of Christ. Second, I hope you'll support us with your financial gifts as we seek to mobilize this body. And finally, you might consider whether God is calling you at this time to throw your heart and your life over the line for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Maybe you're ready to step into that harvest. I'm grateful for your partnership with us here in the Mission Society. I hope that you'll continue to join us in this vital work. God bless you.